Well, ladies and gents, if you thought we weren't living in the future, I think we're living in the future. Simply because of all the, you know, drones that's going on right now, all the AI. If you heard of AI, you probably heard of the uh, AI arts scene that's going on nowadays. Most of it's kind of funded with Do Not Pay. That's one of the bigger ones, I think. But anyway, apparently, Do Not Pay is going to be making a AI-powered chatbot that can help you negotiate bills and cancel subscriptions without having to deal with customer service. So that's kind of interesting. Apparently, they're going to be launching this thing so that they can, so, you know, they can, it can negotiate the lowest thing for you while, you know, you don't have to wait and do all that type of stuff with, like, you know, customer service reps, which is kind of interesting. I don't really know how to think about that because I personally, I hate customer service. I hate working in the customer service industry. So to see, to, like, you know, be on a calls, you know, with these people, are kind, it's kind of hard to begin with. But being on a calls to like, you know, get your bills down, that's kind of pretty substantially hard to do too. So I kind of understand the reasoning why they're making this. But the people that are behind the scenes of the, uh, you know, the customer service calls that they have to take all these calls and all that, I can see it pretty, uh, being pretty hard on them too. So, you know, I, I mean... Companies themselves have even done AI, like, to use them as their calls, right? They don't even use humans anymore. They just use, you know, service rep, not, not even, like, people. They use, like, computers and all that type of stuff to, like, do these calls. So, it'll be kind of interesting to see this do not pay AI kind of argue with another robot type of deal i mean we are living in the future where robots are fighting each other online it hasn't come out quite yet but i wouldn't be surprised if it's going to come out it'll be a nifty tool but whether or not it will actually work with the other robots is kind of hard to do kind of to tell but then again it's hard for humans to do that, to argue with robots too. So, I mean, what, what else can you do? But, I mean, I don't know. What else is there to say about this? It's kind of done deal. Am I... And here's the thing about this, okay? This whole AI stuff... My personal two cents on this before concluding the video. I think that using AI to do some art stuff or whatever. I think that's nifty. I think that's pretty sweet, you know? But let's not detract from, like, the people who, you know, actually do the arts. Because as you can see from some AI artwork that people tend to do or use, they tend to have a lot of uh, the signatures from actual artists in there after, you know, scrambling and using all the... Uh, pieces of art that they that the AI kind of references to like make the artwork they kind of have that little um signature in there still like little pieces of the signature in there so it's using actual people's artwork you know so we shouldn't detract from people actually doing art because that's where the real money is if we just keep on doing AI art then our art is going to stall and it won't real a lot of famous artists are not going to be you know coming back on the scenes anymore because ai is doing their job so why should you know they be doing it right but anyway though guys that's all for this i just found that to be pretty interesting and kind of hilarious because yeah we are living in the future we are living in some kind of dystopian weird future from the Hunger Games or something like that. I don't even know. All right, guys. What you think of this? Are you excited to use the Do Not Pay AI to negotiate your bills to go down or something? Whatever your thoughts are, comment, let us know, subscribe, ring that bell. More content come your way. And hey, take care, guys.